to take up the role of an anchor. Just first moment I see this squad, I see Maxwell, Shabash, then Hazar Siraj, the number one ODI bowler, Mohammed Shami and Alzari bowling in the power play. And Shabash is going to be an X factor in so probably he would like to come at number three. I don't want to comment on that, but If someone asks me what is loyalty, I can purely and surely say it's the RCB fans. Around the year, one thing that they get for sure is disappointment from their franchise. But every next season comes, they still cheer for the team, expecting them to get the cup. And of course, the next IPL season is here. So I thought let's just quickly see the preview of the RCB team, how they are playing, Levin comes up and what is their strength, weakness, data of the impact players and everything. So before going into RCB, let's also just quickly speak about a very small team, always under the radar. I'm sorry for using these words, but they stayed in that way in the last year and of course in this year. But in the gap, they have won a championship as well. So it's Hardik Pandya led Gujarat Titans. So this is the exact conversation that we are going to have in the video. So if you may be interested in, this is Vanshi here again and welcome to the video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That gives me a lot of support and motivation. So entering into it, like I mentioned, we'll come to RCB in a minute or two minutes time, but quickly seeing Gujarat Titans preview. I think there is not a lot of things to preview here. As usual, their team looks weak on paper with a lot of threats, a lot of loopholes, a lot of gaps. But still, let me just put this playing level for you. And this is how I want to slot it. The reason why I want to have Saha at the top is that he did extremely good for them, at least decently good for them the last time he played for them. So I don't see a reason why they should change him at least in the first two or three matches. So having Saha over there. And then uh, obviously I want to have Kane at number three. I just want to Kane to take up the role of an anchor. Just making sure that people around him bat with the aggressive nature. And he makes sure his wicket doesn't fall also. And then I know Hardik for a fact that he is not going to come below the order. So probably he would like to come at number three but still Kane is there. So probably Hardik at number 4 and then KS Bharat, Miller, Rashid Khan, Tibet, yeah. So this is how their batting is gonna look like. And bowling wise, that is when I feel like it's their greatest strength. Mohammad Shami, Yash Dayar. And then of course they had a little Joshua as well. But uh, I would like to go with Alzari Joseph. He's done great for them the last season and he's in terrific form as well. So just have and back Alzari for a few matches and if it's not working out, go to your remaining bowlers with my suggestion. So this is my playing level. So quickly coming into the strengths. What to speak about the strengths for this squad? I really don't know, yaar. But still, uh, I just feel like Mohammed Shami and Alzari bowling in the power play would be a lethal uh, bowling attack to watch out for. They both hit the length very hard and they swing the ball as well with great pace. So I'm just watching, waiting to watch this uh, video of people bowling in the power play. Weakness, there are a lot. You see the inexperienced middle order. If Miller is not firing, I'm not sure what would happen. They are strike rate in the power play. Who would play the anchor role given that Gil, Saha and Kane is betting? But like always, we do not know what surprise we are waiting for. So Gujarat Titan's strength weakness is this. And um, impact players, I do understand they have few interesting names. Vijay Shankar can be a good, you know, good uh, impact player coming into play. Jayant Yadav is yet another option. And uh, someone like Shivam Mavi is there under the radar. I don't see him in the playing level because HDL did perfectly well for them last season. But Mavi, if given a chance, he can be a good impact player coming and bowling those middle overs as well. So this is overall with respect to Gujarat Titans. I know I'm rushing a bit and quickly entering into RCB. Before that, let's just take a pause and then whatever you feel about this playing level, the combo, anything that please do put it in the chat box and we'll quickly get started with RCB as well. Will this finally be the year of Isala Cup Nam Day? And I genuinely feel and wish that the disappointment on the fans' face come to end this year. To support that, let's see how RCB's playing level is stacked up. And this is how I'm gonna pick my playing level. Just letting you know, Hazranga is not available for the first few matches due to national commitments. And uh, Hazelwood's injury doubt is still hovering with a lot of uncertainties. So let's assume that and start picking this squad. And of course, Maxwell is gonna be available from the start. No big injury scare is there. So openers, obviously, Faf and then Virat Kohli. And then Rajat Patidar did extremely well the last season at number 3. And then Maxwell at number 4. And then the flexibility of middle order comes into place with DK, Ramra, Shabazz and then potentially Hasaranga once he's back. Until then, I would like to have Bracewell, their latest signing over there. He can be extremely aggressive and he can bowl decent spin as well. So this is gonna how it's gonna look like. 
And the beauty of this squad is always the kind of pace bowlers that it supports and provides. Ashal Patel, Mohammad Siraj, and then potentially Hazelwood if not Reece Topley. I see Reece Topley doing a very big role for them because most of the matches are gonna happen in Bangalore, and we know how bowlers struggle in Bangalore. I know for a fact that Reece Topley was doing extremely great for England before the T20 World Cup. And of course, if he has played that, he would have contributed. But because of injury, he was not able to do that. So Topley would be looking at this IPL as an ideal preparation for his comeback. Similarly, Hashel Patel as well. Like he has been sidelined already by India from the T20 squad. So he would like to make his mark as well. And of course, Siraj, the number one ODI bowler, he would like to... We know Siraj's spirit and then never give up attitude. So you know Siraj is going to give you 100% when he's entering the field. Having said this, let's quickly understand his strength as well. The first moment I see this squad, I see Maxwell, Shabash, and then Hazarangam and Michael Bracewell. And I just think the variety that they have in their bowling lineup and the ability of these spinners also to attack the ball well is something which is really a gift for this squad because if spinners assess the conditions fast, they coming in as batters, they will be able to provide that aggression right from the start. And Shabash is going to be an X factor in this squad. Like you never know when he's gonna come up the order. If he is doing so, he's gonna attack the ball and bowls decent spin as well. So considering this, uh, of course, their greatest strength is also Mohammad Siraj and Hazelwood. If they are bowling together in power play, that would be a lethal combo to watch out for. But let's just wish that happens. And then quickly moving into their weakness, of course, weakness. Though the squad looks great, their death bowling would be one sort of weakness because I feel the matches will be happening in Chinnaswamy Stadium and the death bowling is something which is going weird. We should wait and watch is what my suggestion is. But apart from that, Virat Kohli's strike rate is still... I don't want to comment on that, but probably if Virat's strike rate is not improving in the power play, that would be a bit of concern. Apart from that, if DK is not holding the middle order tight, that would come as a potential weakness. Having said this, there are also a lot of interesting impact player options that this squad has. And Faf being a very tactical captain, he will never shy away from bringing in players when needed. They, there is a there is someone in the name of Manoj. We have to look out for him. Mark his name right away. He bats with a strike rate of 157 and comes around 6 to 7 in the local tournaments that he is playing. So he is definitely gonna one impact player that I would like to wish for. The other players, I'll just display their stats here. So having said this, I think we have covered the potentials of this squad on a whole. Please do leave in your comments whatever you feel about this squad. And finally, what do you think and where do you think RCB will land up on this? Uh, IPL season. Will this finally be the year of again like Kisala Cup Namde? Put it on the comments and please do share this with your RCB and Gujarat Titans fans if you like the video and please do subscribe and stay connected. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, please do take care.